I've made it no secret that I enjoy the Fast and the Furious movies, but if you're a fan like me, you may not be happy to hear the news I'm about to give you. Hi, I'm Comic Book Girl 19, and I actually like the Fast and the Furious movies. Hi, Comic Book Girl 19. I've never said that these movies are great, and at first glance, it looks like a really dumb idea. And it is, but it totally works. These movies are self-aware, they've never tried to be something that they're not, and they always deliver what they promise. Fast cars, stunts, guns, crime stuff, hot babes, and a lot of people out there who are making fun of it have never actually watched it, and if you go in with low expectations, you definitely won't be disappointed. So Fast and the Furious 6 is set to drop May 24th. I'm really looking forward to it. The new poster just came out. It has all the characters in front of the cars, which says to me that this isn't just about car races anymore and crazy stunts. This is gonna be more about the characters and that's where the real action's gonna be at. This one is supposed to tie up a lot of loose ends from the old movies and they're also bringing back the character of Letty, played by Michelle Rodriguez, who supposedly died in the fourth one and I can't wait to see what happens. Now Fast and the Furious 7, yeah, I said seven is being fast-tracked. It's set to come out summer 2014, which is really bumming out director Justin Lin. He says that he can't make a good movie that he'd be proud of in like a year. So he's decided to decline to direct the next one, which is kind of a bummer because he's been on board since the third one, Tokyo Drift. And in my opinion, he's done a really great job with the franchise because it seems like he really actually cares about it. And I like that. And I'm glad that he's like, no, I don't have enough time to do this, so I'm not gonna do it. And because they're on such a fast track, Universal is trying to hire a new director as quickly as possible, which doesn't bode well. Because I'm afraid that this new director will just be some director for hire who doesn't care about the series and is just gonna ram it off the track into a wall into a fiery inferno of death. I can't promise you that. Maybe not, but when is pumping a movie out as fast as you can merely in the name of making more money ever produced a great film? Like, never. So in conclusion, I'm really looking forward to going to see Fast and the Furious 6. I'm really weary of Fast and the Furious 7. I hope that they don't end this franchise on a bad note. That would upset me. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite guilty pleasure is. I have a lot of guilty pleasures. I like the OC a lot. California. So I'm Comic Book Girl 19. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Cinefix, where we talk about good, good movies, good, bad movies, bad, bad movies. We talk about it all here on Screen Addict. Get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.